Hello, welcome to Smart Investing, everyone. I'm Albert, the host of the channel. And today, we're going to be talking and analyzing special dividend stocks. So, I have about 10 companies for the, the special dividend stocks. Apparently, the last video that I did with the special dividend stocks, they were for the past three months. And... As you know, that takes time to research. It's just a lot of information. It's a long video. I don't think people are gonna tune in to a long video. So again, I wanna make them shorter. And I still wanna present the same information, but just uh, better and shorter. So this video is actually for the January special dividend paying stocks I have about 10 of them not all 10 on the list are special dividend paying companies what I mean by that is most of them are but there are a few of them that I I've got alerted and notified about maybe paying a special dividend it just hasn't uh been confirmed yet or it hasn't been paid out yet so it's like in the process but i'm still gonna go over these companies with you anyways so let's jump right in again i'm using weibo and the first one up this is a otc market stock otc meaning over the counter basically it's a private buyer and seller so basically a private market it's still legit, but again, you're not going to find as many buyers and sellers as you might want. Uh, there's less trading and action going on. It's just harder to manage and harder to invest in because it's a much smaller market. It's just so different. So I don't really mess with OTC markets, but I'm here to show you anyway. Uh, again, my perspective on this for the OTC markets always has been to stay away from them. But I'm just showing you these types of companies that are on there because they can be traps. And they're still part of the market. That's still a stock. So I just can't count that out. I just still have to include it anyway in my research. So that's what I'm here to show you. So the name of the company is Dorel Industries. They do home furnishings. So let's jump right into the special dividend. As we can see here, they've paid uh, 30 cents, 15 cents, and 50 cents. Even though the payment for February 2nd was a $12 payment, uh, it doesn't say special dividends, but it is a special dividend paying stock. So... That still counts as a special dividend paying stock. So the next one up that I have. Sorry, let me get comfortable again. I apologize. So next one up that I have on the list. Is SQFT. Presidio Property Trust. As you can see, has some decent volume. Uh, as you can see, the stock has gone up and down. And they do pay dividends. As you can see there. I'm just highlighting the action. So, you can see these price ranges. They're not that good. As you can see here and here. If we were to calculate all that... Sorry, my drawing is awful, but uh, I just want to show you the difference. So we have five. So it's only a $2 difference. That's not much. It doesn't say over-the-counter market, but this is definitely a penny stock. Very cheap company. Uh, so anyways, let's jump right into the special dividend. See what we have here. Waiting for it to load. So we have 
nothing here as a special dividend paying company, but they do pay regular dividends. Um, so again, this company was on alert for my list, even though I don't see an effective date, it was still an alert. So again, this is a company that was probably in the process of maybe receiving a special dividend or maybe hasn't received it or paid it yet. So again, they might be in the process. So, uh, even though it's not official that they paid it, what again, what I'm saying is they might be in the process to pay it. So, I still have it on my list for further notice. It, it still helps to keep it on the list. So, that came up on my list, so that's why I'm reviewing it. Next up I have is Capricorn Energy, C-R-N-Z-F take a look at that we have it at 2.6 as we can see they did have a split on January 7 2021 so we have it here for the special dividends they paid in 2020 um I thought I had a notification of them paying one in 2022 so I guess not maybe it's in the process so as you can see, over the counter market, a uh, special dividend they paid is 43 cents. This was in 2020 and they have not paid a special dividend as of yet. So that's it for that one. Let's move on to the next one. Next one up I have is Tilly's, T-L-Y-S. Nice looking chart. As you can see, they've gone up and they went flat. Then they've gone up and then sort of down again, breaking even. I don't know about anybody else, but to, to start off this year, it has been going down, which it, it sucks for people that invested um, last year or that invested the beginning of the year. Now they're down. Um, if they invested in 2020... All the way till now, good for them. But um, again, I've been kind of bearish ever since 2020. There's too much uh, federal government money into the stock market system. Uh, it's just, obviously it's manipulated, but there's even more manipulation. A lot of these firms are denying it. And um, I don't seem to believe them. Because the proof is there. Um, I don't believe that. We had a 2020 two-month recession to go all the way back to new highs. And on top of that, um, we've never seen so many new highs in consecutive days and weeks. It's just been insane the past two years. So they should have crashed the market in March, but they didn't. So now it looks even worse. And they created a bubble. So now there's just so many companies paying all these special dividends. And they look like they're earning something when they're really not. That was the Fed liquidity. So as we can see here. 2020 they paid. In 2021 they made two payments. Thanks to the federal government. Uh, buying nonsense. So as we can see. They paid two payments, one and two. In 2022, I don't see nothing yet. So they've been consistent with paying a dollar. They definitely have been consistent with paying a dollar. So as we can see, uh, $12.86 at the moment. And let's see here. What is Tilly's? So they do apparel and accessories. So again, we have not seen nothing for 2022, but they have been consistent in paying a special dividend. Next up on the list is FC, Franklin Covey. This looks like a nice little growth stock. Um, I like that little move. It just looks very, very consistent. I, I, I love to see... Uh, graphs like that 
I love to see just, I'm sure everybody does. You see, it's just straight up, straight up, straight up. A little dip here, but then just straight up. Um, That's really nice to see. Very, very nice chart for the one year. Let's see what they do. So, they're a global company specializing in performance improvement. Oh, uh, what does that mean? Oh, they're in the education. Okay, so. They're into higher education, helping education institutions. Okay. So, enterprise division and the education division. So they do business education, not bad. So let's look if they're, so I don't have nothing for them for paying a special dividend. So again, I apologize that this company is not a special dividend paying, dividend paying company. But again, I was alerted. I was notified through my research and uh, maybe eight out of 10 times, you know, they do pay when I'm doing this review. So I guess this one, is not let's jump into the next one and we're almost oh we're close to done we're like halfway so the next one up we have is trmlf terma terma line or lean sorry i'm pronouncing it wrong i think it's terma line oil as you can see right away the first thing i notice guys otc mark Sorry, OTC market, um, it's not good. The price ain't too bad. The shares, sorry, the price action seems pretty good. It dropped a little bit, going up again. Uh, nice chart, nice looking chart for the one year. Obviously, a bunch of charts look like that. Uh, look at the five year. Really grew a lot, as you can see. So, off to the info for the press release uh, i do see special dividends they paid let's see when they paid so they paid dividends and special dividends let's take a look at that canadian money so as we can see special dividend and regular dividend in 2022 and they both paid on the same date uh, as you can see up to here uh, rising dividend rising dividend then the rising dividend this is a huge difference from 18 cents all the way to a dollar 25 so we're looking at a difference of a uh, dollar and seven cents that's insane so, yeah, definitely, definitely a uh, big difference. They did not have a split. But, again, they have been paying special dividends uh, in 2021. And I'm not surprised a lot of companies are doing this. Let's just take a look at exactly what they do and, and what sector they're in. So, they do oil and gas exploration and production. So, that is considered midstream. And let's just read about the company real quick. Um, they do crude oil and natural gas exploration and production. So there you have it. So again, this company pays special dividends and regular dividends. That is the ticker symbol. If you want me to review it furthermore, I can do that on another separate video. We're doing special dividends here. So next one up that I have is William Penn, WMPN. If you look at the five-year chart, awful. Looks flat. This looks like actually like a OTC market. You do not. That's another thing, guys. When you look at stocks, little Batman, um, the Batman uh, pattern. As we can see here, um, you see these flat lines? 
see it just i mean it's very very obvious guys and this is a five-year chart it, these all are just like flat sorry that was supposed to be a line but um just a lot of flat lines you really don't want to see that um that just show goes to show there's not a lot of buyers and sellers automatically even if i didn't have any of this info even if i didn't have none of this none of this none of this even if i had no info just by looking at the chart here like i said it's flat yeah it goes up but then it's just a lot a lot of flat you don't want that so anyways let's jump right into the special dividends let's see they did pay one 2021 supposedly i got the alert for january so maybe it's still in process uh, so they, again, they did pay a dividend in 2021. We're just starting the year. We're just starting the year. So again, it could be in the process or I could be wrong. They might pay it. They might not. But again, um, these are negotiations, uh, about also talking about uh, paying a special dividend. So again, it, it's in the process, but it's not, the decision is not official as of yet. So this is like a maybe. So let's look at the next stock. We have Indian oil. So uh, before I choose these stocks, let me say something. These two companies are pretty much the same. These are just different classes. Um, let me say this too. This one, come on, why is it like that? This is the stock that got delisted. This is the stock that is still available. So, when I looked at and researched both of these companies, this one, Indian Oil, this is the one that is still active. This one is not. So this is the one I'm going to review. And let's take a look at that. And I guess they, the other one that was in the over-the-counter market, I guess that was the reason why. So hopefully, maybe they added more shares onto the A-Class. So as we can see here, we have a downtrend. Then it was sort of flat. Then another downtrend has gone up. Then looks sort of flat. So yeah, it hasn't broken into new highs. So that's not what we're here for, but let's look at what they are paying. Um, kind of lost. Um, I, I do see that they pay dividends. I see that. Uh, what strikes me is this. I do not know, and I apologize, you guys, what currency this is. Uh, maybe you guys know. You can research it. Google it. Just put in, what is the INR currency? Uh, I can look that up if you guys want. Because, uh, again, I do uh, global companies as you can see indian oil they have a strong earnings dividend is paying 10 dividend yield 8.45 uh so again it's hard for me to see if they do pay a special dividend uh, maybe in this country, they call it the bonus issue. This is the first time that I am seeing this. As you can see, the highest payment is this one. That's the highest paying dividend. So maybe this was a special dividend there. I'm not sure about the rest of them there. So let's look at... I know some what some of you are thinking, like, oh duh, obviously, um, it's the Indian currency. But um I just wanna be sure in my calculations and my statements, because even though it might say Indian oil, it might be another country that just has that name, 
but the parent company might be in a different country if that makes any sense so let's look at INR currency just to be sure so the Indian rupee that's what it's called so again it is India let's read more about it real quick what does INR Indian rupee okay so how much is one dollar in US India so one US dollar is 74 Indian rupees so that is the answer to that but again I wish they would state if it was a special dividend or not so again this company might be in the talks as to a special dividend paying company so next one up that I have is Meridian Corp let's jump right into this one we have this at uh, one dollar paying special dividend uh, again I apologize it's only for 2021 I don't have anything for 2022 So again, maybe they are in the, in the talks about it, in the meetings. I do like this chart. Doesn't look too bad. What are they into? They are a bank. It's not bad. I like the chart. Not bad. So next one up I have is... Shaoshang holdings we have three companies left one so we have just this one this one and this one and we are all done so next one up Shaoxing holdings um looking flat i don't like it uh, as we can see just regular dividends nothing special um uh, moving on to the next one So we have the next one. It is on uh, TRTX. So you can see. Goes up. Goes down. Looking, it has a slight curve. Then it goes down. So overall. Let's draw this again. We have it as. Going up. Down up and down then it looks kind of flat there so as we can see we have it's just loading we have this stock on my list for special dividend paying companies so let's see special dividend of seven cents let's see what year so Special dividend in 2020. Special dividend in 2021. So we can see here. They made the cut of a dividend. In June of 2020. But they have been rising the dividends ever since September of last year in 2021. So... Let's see. It looks like they have the history of paying special dividends in December. I don't know why I received a notification if they're paying special dividends in December. So hopefully, maybe, willingly, they can pay a special dividend at the end of this year in December. The end of December. So last company that I have on the list is IFN India Fund Inc. This is basically a mutual fund. I don't know why I got this on my list, but it's definitely not a regular stock. It's just a fund. So that's pretty much it. That's all I have for you guys for the special dividend paying companies for January again I apologize some of these companies were 
not for January January 2022, but for the most part, they have been dividend paying companies, special dividend paying companies. So again, uh, they might be in the process or in negotiation or in the talks about it. So who knows? Uh, might want to look into it, watch list it, whatever. Um, I can certainly come back to it and see along the line. And that's pretty much it. That's all I have for you guys. So the next one that I have, again, I'm going to be doing this monthly special dividend paying companies instead of having a longer list so you guys can enjoy it better. So that's pretty much it. Next videos are going to be just uh, bank stocks. And I got to finish that whole sector. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like, subscribe, or comment. If not, um, I'm still going to continue my journey with the contest on the stock card contest. Uh, I will be issuing buy and sell alerts or notifications. Uh, you could also see my portfolio on the stock card. Uh, just Google stock card and then you, you'll see what I'm talking about. If not, I'll make a... a uh, updated video on the progress uh, for the final month of February as well. So every month I'll be keeping you guys posted and updated and we'll see how that turns out. Hopefully I can just win it and I, I think I will. I mean, I'm pretty good at what I do so I'm confident that uh, I'll do good. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for the bank stocks. Oh, it's been a while so I'm definitely gonna continue those stocks. So thanks again. Catch up with you guys later and enjoy your day.